Hello and welcome to the God Consciousness Project, presenting the book God Consciousness, written directly by God. My name is Robert Farmelo. I'm the narrator for the God Consciousness Project, and you probably noticed the little box that's popped up on your screen. You can click on that box and you can go and get the book for free. Oh, you can also buy the book too. Plus, there is lots of really excellent, high-value information that's free, very useful stuff on the website. Click the box, check it out. And without any further ado, here's Chapter 33, Clarification and Verification and Confirmation, very important, Part 2. When you are not sure it is me thinking into your thoughts, then make sure you ask me to confirm that it is me. Often what happens is that I will come into your mind with thoughts and ideas for you to experience, and then these thought impressions are quickly taken over by your own thought impressions or thought constructs or someone else's thought impressions or thought constructs. So I may not go on and on for a long time, and you might get misled. So that is why you need to come back to me with your awareness and once more ask for guidance. Ask for dialogue with me. When you're not sure, ask me again, what is it you need to know? Don't be shy about asking again. You want to be sure that you are not changing the message to suit your idea of what it is I should be telling you. This is an example of where you hijack your own connection with me, so you make sure you ask for clear and direct guidance from me, and not from yourself. Remember when you ask that you are directing your awareness to the highest possible level of creative intelligence, and then even higher than that, and then even higher than that. The concept you want to hold in your mind is that God is so very God that God made all the gods and all the gods that made all the gods and so on to the higher than highest high of highest high and so on. You are going for the absolute and beyond. Okay? You are going right out of the relative and beyond that past the absolute may be so far past past that it is beyond imagining but you keep on going that is what you are calling upon to come into your life into your thoughts and into your way of thinking so as to confirm and clarify and verify what you have received what you are receiving and what you will receive from me I can tell you this Ask me simply and directly. God, please verify what you have told me. God, please tell me again what it is you want me to do. God, please verify that what I have heard you say to me is true. God, I need clarification on your guidance. Please help me to understand your guidance more clearly. You can also just ask the question again and ask that the answer you receive is from me, the highest of the highest possible God. Verification and clarification aren't necessary. You won't always be sure that it is me thinking into your thoughts and not some part of you sneaking in there with a version of an answer that you really want it to be, especially if you have an inkling that what I might say will go against what you are wanting to do because it would sure be a lot more convenient if it was this way than some other way that might involve more work or more honesty or more patience or more compassion or more of something that you most definitely don't want to be part to part with or give or 
understand or whatever it is that you would rather not be doing. So this is the time to understand the importance of verifying what you are feeling and thinking in regard to what you receive from me because as you know sometimes there are concurrent thought structures and or feeling constructs that contradict the ideas held in my transmissions into your awareness into your consciousness which is me anyway my consciousness my awareness communicating with myself only to you it seems not that way at all in fact like we are quite separate sometimes it will not seem like we are separate and it is in these times that you are highly blessed with a sense of belonging and union and communion with me with yourself your true self that which is imperishable and not transitory at all sometimes you do not need or to or require to verify or confirm or to clarify any of what you are hearing from me you are quite clear on the content and the meaning and there are no distractions in your thoughts that slide away from what you are receiving from me and you know it too sometimes you will receive from me and also have the ongoing counter thoughts going on but you will be able to discern the real from the other you will know what is coming from me and what is not as you progress in your listening skill you will get much much better at discerning and confirming and so on it will become much more natural to you and less fraught with difficulties and doubtings and it is also true that there may be times down the road of our relationship when you go through quite an intense period of painful doubting about the authenticity of your connection with me this does happen and I want you to know about this possibility so that if you have to go through this phase well you go through it rather than stay stuck there it is also true that I communicate with everyone all the time anyway some people are aware of it some are not some regard this communication process as being not telepathic and are getting what they are getting through whatever route they can whatever they are open to I will come to you however I can and in all things I am bursting forth from every possible place and time and space and so on just bursting you see I want so much to communicate to you and all of me all at the same time you see you are me and so is all the stuff that you think of as not being me like the stuff that makes up the chair you are sitting in or the stuff that goes into weapons that are used to mutilate and kill people and or other creatures and or beautiful natural places that you so love and admire this is part of the process of verification and confirmation and clarification of my being alive and real and that I am the basis of all that you are living within and with and so on it is in coming to me for constant communion and asking for that that you will have this clearly especially if you ask clearly and concisely for what you are wanting from me in the way of being in contact with me my personal suggestion is you ask for as much as you can get and since you can get oh so very much more actually then you might as well ask for the whole deal every bit of it 
Okay, that's the end of part two of chapter 33. You'll have noticed the little box has shown up again. Click on that box. Go to the website. Check it out. Get the book for free. Buy the book. It's not expensive. Check out other stuff that we've got on the website. High value content for you. All of it free. Okay. Robert Farmelo, narrator for the God Consciousness Project, saying so long for now. See you in part three.